Hello, you all right? It's, uh, it's nice to be here. Hello, my name is Sarah. I, uh, I'm gay. Yep, yeah, that is the sound of nobody being surprised, is it? <laughs> you can all see me, can't you? You've had a look. Uh, it's nice being gay. If you haven't tried it, give it a whirl. It's lovely. It's all right. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I didn't always want to be gay, though. When I was younger, I didn't know what it was, didn't understand. I thought I wanted to be a boy, so I'd, like, flirt with older women and try and make them laugh. And I got it into my head it wasn't working, because I was a girl, right? And I was like, this would definitely work better if I was a boy. Turns out I wasn't working, because I was a child. <laughs> Uh, it's different. And I used to, used to dress like a little boy. I used to wear, like, cargo trousers and gap and things like that. I'm not one for stereotypes, but I do believe the lesbian instinct to dress for combat is intrinsic, you know? <laughs> I don't know what we're ready for, but we are fucking ready, man. <laughs> when the bombs drop, it's the lesbians who are gonna be there, just... <laughs> marching in, dildos overhead, just... <laughs> Saluting, the more fingers, the better, eh? <laughs> ah, it wasn't very good. I didn't wear dresses. I think I've figured out why now. I saw a baby in a dress the other day. It looked fucking ridiculous. You seen a baby in a dress? Absolutely, honestly. Because they're huge. They cover up the little legs. They've got the little bold head at the top. They look like shuttlecocks, don't they? <laughs> baby in a dress. Just... Uh, I used to look after a couple of kids. I used to be a, a, a nanny to these two. I'm not a nanny anymore, because the family, they stopped paying me, so now I'm just a woman that won't leave. <laughs> just there all the time. I love these kids. They're proper posh, right, really posh. That level of posh where the children have dogs' names, do you know what I mean? Yeah, they're called Baxter and Rowley. <laughs> That's ridiculous, isn't it? I walk into a park shouting, Baxter, Rowley, I've got six dogs around me. The kids are gone. It's a nightmare. <laughs> So odd. Rolly's seven. She's gotten to an age now where she's realised she's got a stupid name. That's a relief. She needs to know, doesn't she? And she started hating it, and I wanted to be happy. So then something amazing happened, cos she met another Rolly. And this Rolly's amazing, right? She's really strong, and she's proper confident, and she's really talented, and she's a horse. <laughs> mm. My Rolly was embarrassed about that. She was, and I was like, I've got to say something, cheer her up. So I was like, no, it's cool to have the same name as a horse. Horses are amazing. I was like, actually, do you know what people measure speed in? And she guessed grams, and I was like, no. <laughs> no. It's different, isn't it? She loves horses, big into horses. Her brother was teasing her about it one day, saying it's a, it's a stupid girl's thing, horses, and girls just do stupid things like crying and falling in love and riding horses, and that's all girls do. And, then I look at him and think, why does he think he's not allowed to cry? So I was like, what we'll do, we'll sit down, you and I, we'll watch all three of the Lord of the Rings films together, right? You'll learn, watching them films, that cool, strong men, they cry, and they fall in love, and they ride horses. And he did, he learnt that on that day. And I learnt that the Lord of the Rings trilogy, through the eyes of a nine-year-old, is, uh... It's too violent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He would not stop crying, so... <laughs> Mission accomplished, wouldn't you say? I'm not very good at being posh. I try, try to be posh. Poshest thing that happened to me recently was my girlfriend. She bought me some, a new bit of technology called a moon cup, right? Just make some noise if you don't know what a moon cup is. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I'll explain. Uh, <laughs> basically, it's an alternative to a tampon, right? It's a little silicon cup, but instead of soaking up, what it does is it fills up so it's good for the environment, so it makes me feel quite fancy, because that's quite posh, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but the problem is, every time I use it, I can kind of feel my working-class background coming to haunt me, because what I do is I take it out, and it's there, and it's full. And every time, I just get this little voice in the back of my head that's like... Shot it. <laughs> I would never do it, all right? I've never done it. But a posh person wouldn't think that, would they? <laughs> posh person would they'd sip it, wouldn't they? <laughs> Thank you very much. I've been Sarah Keyworth. Have a good night. Cheers.